Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel MS Point. In this short tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to design a newer wish card in a Microsoft Word. The design procedure would be quite simple and we are going to show you every step by step procedure which you can follow and make this custom design without having to do any uh, fancy stuff or all. Okay, let's start the design but before starting the design I would like to request this is uh, one of the designing video MS Word design video in our channel and uh, in regular basis we keep on coming with this kind of designs. So if you like this kind of content so please subscribe the channel and please give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's start the design procedure. In order to do that first we need a blank document. So we are going to get this blank document and we'll set the margins to zero as well as take our custom paper size. Okay. In order to do that, we go to layout, go to margins, custom margins, and we set all the margins to zero first that we have a uh, margin free blank canvas ready. And then we go to the paper tab. Okay. And uh, we are going to take this paper size 10.16 cm and uh, height would be 12.7 cm okay and then we select okay if you get in here uh, like a uh, warning message just ignore that now we have a totally uh, margin free customized paper size ready okay let's start the design procedure first we need a shape and we are going to insert a custom background picture on that okay we go to shape rectangular click and drag click on it go to shape fill picture and from a file uh, we have already a background picture downloaded in our uh, local computer you can uh, get all these pictures from google or whatever from any sources you can get it for free okay now what you're going to do we are going to rotate the shape you can uh, go to rotate 90 degree right and we're going to adjust it from tape lock corner and then we're going to cover the entire paper click by clicking and dragging Okay, we have this background ready. Now we are going to use uh, like include or insert some design element in it. So we go to insert shape, rectangular shape. Rectangular shape is easy for inserting pictures. So we basically take this picture, but alternatively you can take any other shape if you like. So again, we go to shape fill picture from our file. Let's take this this one, golden cor gold corner. Looks nice. Shape outline, no outline. We get rid of the outline by doing that. And now we're going to place it here. We're going to copy this shape and we're going to use that all corners. Okay. Now uh, rotate 90 degree or flip horizontal, horizontal rather. And we're going to drag it and leave it on the top right corner. We keep repeating the procedure for other two play vertical we're going to place it here shrink horizontal and we're going to place it here so we have uh, like the borders ready and this uh, border looks quite amazing okay we have the background picture as well as the borders now we are going to use other design element in it First, we need uh, to insert a text box. Draw text box. Let's type here happy. Format this text. Let's use a custom font. This will be flashy, but you can use any other font if you like, or you can use this particular template as well. Let's uh, take this size, doesn't look nice. So we are going to use, let's use this one, clean and simple. We need to increase the size, we increase the size. Make sure to adjust the text box that you do not occupy any extra space. Shape fill, no fill. Shape outline, no outline. Now change, let's change the color. So go to shape fill, gradients, more gradients, text option, gradient fill. We'll have four points initially. These four points already incorporated here and you can, if you want to include any other color, 
uh, change the color rather click any points just go here and select any color and that will be changed i'll just show you how we change that okay let's select this color it will be disaffected and you can use any other gradient to change the color effect okay but we are going to go back to and use the same old one so select the second one and go to and use go to use this gold one okay you can use any other gradient effect in any other color combination if you like so you're going to copy this text box again one more time and you're going to duplicate to uh, use the masses next masses happy new We'll change the font. We'll change the font here. Let's uh, use a straightforward. Yeah, that would be nice. This font will look nice. We're going to decrease the size of this font to accommodate in the paper. Let's place it here. Looks fine. Keep adjusting until you get your desired placement. Okay, now we are going to insert uh, like a background picture that we can uh, in that particular picture shape uh, we can use our 2003 masses. So we're going to draw another box and we're going to insert a picture. So go to our file and we're going to take this picture. This one, this one, this one, red ribbon. This one we're going to take. Go get rid of the outlines. So go to shape outline, no outline, okay, now we are going to insert the 2003 masses here, copy in the existing text format and include 2003, let's change the color to white and we, in, we are going to use any other font, okay, let's use this font and decrease the size of it, keep adjusting the text box that you do not Utilize unnecessary space. Looks clean as of now. Let's increase uh, some other design effect. So we go to shape again and we're going to take the same rectangular shape. Go to insert. Picture. Let's, uh, let's take this design effect. Small glittering stars. Let's uh, place it here, copy this shape, place it here, you can add, place, adjust and place anywhere you would like to, to give this it a like amazing effect. And we do again copy and place it here. Nice and simple. Another one here. Great. Yeah, it would be nice and we are, let's, uh, let's put it another one here as well. Wow, looks fantastic. Okay, we have this four designing shape already included. No outline. Make sure to do use the one word outline. Great. Now either you can use any other design element if you like to but we'll keep it simple for the time being and we are going to use a custom masses here. Okay, in order to use the custom masses we already we are going to take the uh, like existing text box or you can draw a new text box if you want. We are going to take this existing text box and uh, decrease the font size a bit or uh, and font element as well. We'll do that later on. First we let, let us decrease the font size first. Then we are going to copy the uh, our text. You can use a, your custom wishes to, uh, you know, wish masses to wish your near and dear ones or any colleagues or you can display it in your social media as well. Let's decrease the size and uh, take a very simple white color. Let's use 11 or 12. Adjust the placement. Yeah, looks nice and simple as I said before you can use you can use any other design element if you are you can use some balloons you can use uh, like uh, other decorative items as well 
but for the time being uh, as we said before we are going to take a leave it here and uh, that's it for our design is complete if you like the you know the content of this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe our channel thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next video